the world is a strange kind of place these days, from blazing bushfires to plagues of locusts and global pandemics that threaten our very way of life, planet Earth really seems to be throwing everything it's got at the human race. So it only makes sense that the next epic struggle between man and nature should be a zombie invasion. Yep, you've seen it in the movies and on television. But how prepared would you be for the real thing? One thing's for sure, and that's that you're going to need a vehicle. From amphibian trucks to bulletproof Hummers, these are the 15 strongest vehicles for the zombie apocalypse. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. Mad Max Truck in Russia this Mad Max-style truck was built by a collective known as the Night Wolves, who are reportedly Vladimir Putin's favorite biker group. Apparently, he's even rocked up to one of their shows on a giant motorcycle. Well, you learn something new every day. This hardcore vehicle was spotted rolling down the highways of Belarus and is covered from top to bottom in sharp spikes, heavy-duty rivets, and steel cladding, perfect for defending yourself from the zombie hoarders. This apocalyptic fuel tanker truck has been doing the rounds for a few years since 2013. That's right, this Mad Max lorry was made before the Fury Road movie came out in 2015. Could this impressive fuel tanker have set the trend? Wow, just imagine how many zombie skulls you could crush with this maniac machine. You could clear a whole highway while driving this armored plow, and if you needed to set ablaze a heaving throne of the walking dead, all that fuel could be used to create a flamethrower. This intense truck really has it all. We would love to have the keys to the strong vehicle during the zombie apocalypse, but what about you guys? Let us know what you think down in the comments. Ripsaw EV Luxury Tank Series Originally designed for the military as a lightweight tank, the Ripsaw Luxury Tank Series is known as one of the fastest dual-tracked vehicles in the world, meaning that it's not only a huge asset in combat scenarios, but also a great getaway car. The EV2, EV3, and EV3F4 series takes a whole six months to custom build for client satisfaction and costs more than a half million dollars. Yep, these VIP vehicles cost a whopping $545,000 for two seats and $595 for four seats, making these indestructible tanks the preferred zombie-proof vehicles of billionaires all over the world. Apparently, the crown prince of Dubai has a whole fleet of these luxury tanks, perfect for gliding over any terrain. From sand to snow, this would be the ideal transport to escape an army of brain-eating zombies, no matter where you are. Plus, it's practically impossible to destroy the Ripsaw tank. Yup, this strong armored vehicle can really take a battering. Talk show host and automobile enthusiast Jay Leno even said, I've never been in a vehicle you can't damage. I thought I could break anything. Well, apparently not. When he took a ride in the Ripsaw, now while most of us wouldn't even be able to afford such a fancy tank, in the apocalypse, anything goes. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for one of these bad boys. What do you think about this top-of-the-range luxury tank? <laughs> Inca's Huron APC With special armored protection, this vehicle is used by various departments of Ministry Defense all over the world. It's safeguarded against both grenade and mine explosions, so it's safe to say you could plow straight through a wall made of zombie flesh with ease. The Huron APC was made by Toronto-based Inca's Armored Vehicle Manufacturing, and they developed a state-of-the-art revolutionary lightweight armored technology to make this one of the sleekest, most rapid vehicles in the world. Eat our dust, zombies. This top-of-the-range van can seat up to 16 people, so you can travel with your whole apocalypse crew in this snazzy zombie-proof vehicle. Oh, and did we mention that if you get a flat tire while on the road, the Huron APC can re-inflate the wheels all by itself using a built-in compressor? Pretty impressive, right? Now, this awesome vehicle can only be purchased through government tenders or law enforcement agencies, so good luck trying to get your foot on the gas of this one. However, we can always dream, right? Maybe you could come across an abandoned one by the side of the road. This is the zombie apocalypse after all. Anything could happen. Quadski XL. Yep, 
It's a quad bike water ski. Whether you're living in swampland, bayous, or the beach, this all-terrain vehicle will get you on the go. Regardless of what's chasing you, this amazing vehicle can take you from land to water in just a matter of seconds, meaning you can be zooming down open road one minute and cruising on the open ocean the next. We don't know about you, but we think this is just plain awesome. We'd love to take this nifty little quad ski for a spin. This strong vehicle looks like something straight out of a James Bond movie, and the way it effortlessly glides from the land onto water is nothing short of miraculous. It can even reach an impressive speed of 45 miles per hour on the road, and when surfing through the waves, yeah, speed is key when the zombies are on your tail, and the best thing of all is that there's seating for you and a companion so you don't have to do the zombie apocalypse without your sweetheart, sidekick, or faithful canine. This semi-aquatic vehicle is sold for about 40,000 US dollars, making it a huge investment, but still one of the cheaper modes of transport on the list. All we really want to know is, can zombies actually swim? Hmm, let us know what you think down in the comments below. <laughs> Marauder this strong vehicle has the most perfect name for the zombie apocalypse. Meet the Marauder. More like a tank than a car, this thing was designed by the Paramount Group in South Africa, where the private security industry is simply huge. This heavily armored vehicle was originally created for reconnaissance and peacekeeping missions, but we reckon it'd be perfect for cruising through a post-apocalyptic landscape. Described as the world's most unstoppable vehicle, it can handle explosive blasts at a TNT power of 8 kilograms and 14 kilograms under any wheel, thanks to its double skin Monaco call. Plus, it can seat up to 10 people, ensuring safety in numbers. Round up your zombie bashing buddies and hit the open road in the Marador. It's perfect for speeding away from any enemies with an impressive top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. It can even carry extra fuel tanks, water, and combat supplies, and it can be fitted with night vision for 24-7 capabilities. Yeah, this vehicle really has it all, but perfection comes with a hefty price tag. This awesome armored truck costs a whopping $485,000. Yep, it turns out that surviving the zombie apocalypse doesn't come cheap. Hey, maybe you could split the cost 10 ways with your passengers. <laughs> the Humdinga. This one is a real Humdinga. No, literally. From the same people that brought you the Quadski, the Humdinga is a much bigger vehicle, capable of impressive highway speeds of 100 miles per hour on the road and a smooth 30 miles per hour on water. This amphi truck is perfect for all terrains. Its creator, Alan Gibbs spent 15 years developing this amazing semi-aquatic vehicle in order to make the world a better place. He told reporters it will change disaster relief and delivering aid to a point of need quite significantly. In many disaster areas, road systems are completely disrupted or there is no real road infrastructure. But in most places, there are river systems. Yes, Gibbs Technologies built this epic machine in order to survive the most difficult environments. So that is not only perfect for disaster zones, but we reckon it would also be the idea vehicle for surviving that zombie apocalypse. It even seats seven people, so no one needs to be left behind. Yep, if you have to escape the city and live life out in the middle of nowhere, the Humdinga is your best bet. What do you guys think about this awesome game-changing truck? Conquest Knight XV With only 17 of these existing in the world, you've got to be a real somebody, and not just any old apocalypse survivor, to own one of these luxurious vehicles. Their prices start at a cool $629,000, and basketball player Dwight Howard and the Prince of the United Arab Emirates are among the wealthy owners of this exclusively armored vehicle. Hey, you can't put a price on safety and security. Despite its flashy exterior, this strong vehicle is more than just a showy Hummer lookalike. In fact, they're double the weight of a Hummer, weighing in at a whopping 6,400 kilograms. Built in Canada, these heavy-duty cars are reinforced with ballistic steel, which guards the monster truck against the bullets of an AK-47. And you know what that means. If it can withstand machine gun fire, it can definitely withstand 
zombies, and rebels. This impressive vehicle can seat two people in the back and even has a television and iPad control station installed. Uh, we don't know about you, but we think that the state-of-the-art truck sounds totally awesome. Well, the Conquest Knight XV uses about 34 liters per 100 kilometers, meaning you'll definitely need an abundant fuel source to keep this mammoth vehicle on the road, which could get a little tricky in the apocalypse. Now, where is the nearest gas station? <laughs> Range Rover Sentinel Okay, so we've conquered a whole bunch of next-level extreme off-road vehicles which are perfectly suited for an impending zombie apocalypse, but what about a totally unexpected car? A car that you've seen maybe hundreds of times driving down an ordinary street. Yeah, we're talking about the Range Rover. Sure, we've all heard of the classic Range Rover, but the Sentinel is a whole new beast. That's right, this one comes with armor. This strong vehicle comes with more than a ton of armor plate and glass designed to survive through a terror attack. It is a supercharged V8 engine and a top speed of 120 miles per hour, which is just outstanding for a vehicle of this size and weight. It even has a built-in flat tire system, meaning that it can still travel at 50 miles per hour for 30 miles with a punctured tire, ideal for when you have to run over that zombie horde. Sure, it may look like your average flashy Range Rover, but it's a whole lot more than that. It's a great car for anyone who wants to look like they live a normal life with that extra level of protection secretly at their disposal, for if the unthinkable does happen. Again, this supercar is on the market for a slightly unattainable $500,000, so if you want to cruise through the apocalypse in this cool designer car, you better start saving now. Still, we can't help but love this stylish armored vehicle. What do you guys think? Let us know. <laughs> Tank Tread Bentley Are you a mega-rich oligarch that fancies themselves to be a gung-ho military buff? Well, then maybe this is the mega vehicle for you. The Tank Tread Bentley was invented in Russia, and the novel idea was created when a team of car builders came together with a dream to combine a luxury car with a heavy-duty tank. The flash vehicle, nicknamed the Ultra Tank, looks like something straight out of a capitalist dystopian future. And we can't help but want to speed down the open road in this VIP hybrid, a classy Bentley Continental GT was combined with Caterpillar tracks to create this masterpiece. Yeah, if you're a millionaire that can't face leaving behind the life of luxury during a gritty zombie apocalypse, then you might want to place your order now. As the creators of the Ultra Tank were still developing this crazy cruiser in 2019. Yeah, it may be a work in progress, but the super vehicle can already reach an impressive 81 miles per hour and its team hopes to reach 200 miles per hour in this custom Bentley. This beautiful car turned tank may see you through some pretty hairy moments in a zombie apocalypse, but we can't help to think that it may draw some unwanted attention. Sometimes, less is more. So, would you make the Ultra Tank your vehicle of choice when the walking dead come to town? Tell us down in the comments. Water Car Panther the fastest amphibious vehicle to date, the water car product range is perfect for the kind of person that wants to see out the zombie apocalypse in style. Getting a tan, cruising on the open oceans, and turning heads, who says the zombie apocalypse can also be a good time? The aptly named Panther Car took Dave March, the founder of the Californian-based water car, 14 years to develop, and it was worth the wait. This stylish vehicle can reach 85 miles per hour on land and 45 miles per hour on water, which means you can make a speedy getaway to your zombie-free private island in no time. Based on a Jeep compact SUV, this neat truck comes in multiple designs, from neon green to fire truck red, so you can really let your personality shine through. The price tag for this amphibian automobile is $198,000, which is expensive, but let's face it, considerably cheaper than the rest of the vehicles on this apocalyptic shopping list. Hmm. Motoped Survival Bike If at first glance you just see a bike, 
you might want to take a closer look. Yup, this bad boy comes complete with a crossbow, a one gallon gas pack, a survival shovel, a tomahawk, a harpoon, a fixed blade saw, and loads more. It even has a mount for your smartphone. This nifty little vehicle is like the Swiss army knife of the bike world, and we love to see it. What this vehicle lacks in engine power, it makes up for in combat versatility. If Mad Max wanted to save the environment, we're certain that he'd commute on this lethal bike. The Motoped has fantastic gas mileage and is powered by a four-stroke engine. And while it doesn't necessarily have armor to protect you from ravenous zombies, it certainly is economical as well as deadly. Yup, this killer survival bike will see you through just about any apocalyptic scenario, and it only costs $2,000. Yeah, we think we just found our dream vehicle for the end of the world. Would you bike your way through the apocalypse? Let me know down in the comments. Aftaros Shaman. This custom all-terrain vehicle isn't messing around. Oh no, the Shaman has a 3-liter, 4-cylinder turbo diesel engine and can reach 50 miles per hour. This monster truck sits 6.5 feet above the ground and it can even cross rivers. It also has a crab mode, which allows it to move sideways. Yeah, the shaman can do it all. If your idea of defending against zombies is to crush them under eight heavy wheels and feel the satisfying pop of zombie brains exploding, then this is your vehicle. This apocalyptic vehicle was even featured on the legendary car show Top Car when Friends star Matt LeBlanc drove the mega vehicle into a 72-foot reservoir in an attempt to save a family in a rubber dinghy. And if that won't convince you that this is the perfect zombie survival vehicle, then we don't know what will. <laughs> the classic dune buggy. Yeah, sometimes you just have to go back to the basics. It seems like humble dune buggy has been around for absolutely ages. It really stood the test of time, but could it withstand a zombie apocalypse? We certainly think so. The simple dune buggy was designed to zip across sand dunes with ease, and to be honest, it makes great escapes look like a lot of fun. These handy little buggies have been used for everything from driving along the beach to racing and even used in the military to cross rough terrain. Cheap and robust, we think this convenient vehicle would be a great fit for any ragtag crew just trying to get from A to B during the zombie apocalypse. Who needs armored tanks anyway? Pow V Flying Car First displayed at the Geneva Motor Show in 2019, this amazing vehicle has taken the car world by storm. Solid Dutch engineering is the driving force behind this simply epic vehicle. Yes, the Pal V Liberty is an automobile straight out of a science fiction novel. Meet the first flying car on the planet. In a world where the only escape from a zombie horde is by air, we definitely want to take off in the Pal V Liberty. The pioneer edition of this superb vehicle will be limited to only 90 units, so you'd have to get super lucky to get behind the steering wheel of this futuristic machine. With a max speed of 160 kilometers an hour on the ground and 180 kilometers an hour in the air, this is the ultimate getaway car. Not only is it superior in its capabilities, but with sleek lines and modern Italian design, this flying car looks phenomenal as well. It's time to rock this apocalypse. <laughs> Mercedes Zetras. So you fled the hordes, picked up survivors along the way, now it's time to get down to business. Traveling the world, starting a new tribe, and hauling all your gear with you. What you really need is the kind of tour bus that Led Zeppelin would be proud of, with the extra strength to crush a few corpses occasionally blocking your path. The Mercedes Zetras series answers all of those needs. The Monster RV is a road home that comes complete with a kitchen, master bedroom, and even a shower in the bathroom, so you don't have to slum it out like the rest of the chumps in the apocalyptic wastelands. It also thrives in extreme conditions and is powered by a 7.2 liter inline six cylinder engine and gigantic wheels that will plow through even the roughest of terrain. Plus, it even comes with two spare monster tires, just in case you hit a few bumps along the way. And by bumps, we mean zombie skulls. Yup, this is the world's most hardcore camper van, and we think it's the pinnacle of apocalyptic survival vehicles. Now, if only we had the $1 million to spare to actually buy the thing. 
So there we have it, the 15 strongest vehicles for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, the harsh reality is that you're going to need a lot of dollars to make it out of this one alive. Or perhaps live conveniently close to an armored vehicle manufacturer. These epic trucks, bikes, and quad skis are not only incredibly functional, but they also really look fun to drive. Wouldn't you love to take a ride on one of these vehicles? Let us know which one was your favorite in the comment section below, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to The Missing Files so that you never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.